One of the things we want to teach is democracy. We want to teach about democracy, how to understand it, what it is. How, how can we do that? Let's look at a picture which may help our students examine their feelings about the democratic process as, as it affects their own decisions within their own groups. Let's read these signs. There's one that says, uh, clubs have a right to choose their members. Who's being undemocratic? Another sign says, fraternities and sororities must go. And then we see another sign that says, exclusive clubs are undemocratic. Now let's see what this boy over here thinks. What kind of discussion might this evoke, do you believe? Well, there are a group of, there's a group of students there, and they have uh, different points of view expressed on their signs. Uh, this uh, chap who looks on the, uh, the scene might say, well, some of these students uh, feel that there should be a little bit of an open society here, and some, I guess, are going to uh, think we have a closed society. And uh, I think that uh, he might say, well, this is democracy in action. There are a lot of pros and cons expressed here. He might also think, well, maybe some of these closed societies might be closed to me because I am Negro. I suppose some of these thoughts could go through his mind, but again, it's a, uh, a stepping stone to uh, uh, some further discussion, I, I would believe. They, they do have the right freely to assemble. They have a right freely to print or to publish or to express their views. I think this is a good takeoff on democracy and also has a dimension of intergroup relations in it because we know that many sororities and many clubs do ban people from certain groups, exactly. minority and groups. Exactly, and how do we feel about it? There 